Hello everyone, this is Grace Farrow, a Solid Edge Applications Engineer here at ProLim PLM. And today we're going to go over singular part copy. Okay, so singular part copy works really well for casting parts. So as we can see, uh, this is my shaft underscore FOP part. And this is going to be considered my original part. So what I'm actually going to do first is open up a new part file. All right, so under my home tab, under the clipboard group, there is a button drop down here. I'm gonna go ahead and open up part copy. And I'm just gonna select that shaft underscore FOP part again and say open. Okay, so what I'm gonna get is this part copy parameters. Uh, so here we can see that I can link to the file, I can copy colors. Um, I can merge solid bodies, can copy as a constructed body. And then down here we have a couple more options. So there's remove voids, which allows you to bring in an assembly and uh, Solid Edge will try to fill the voids with solid material. Uh, we can also mirror the body if we want. Uh, down here we can actually create a flat pattern if it's sheet metal. Um, and then down here we can adjust the scale. This is one of the only places that you can adjust the scale um, in Solid Edge. And then we can also apply a shrink factor. So if this is a casted material and uh, we have to apply shrinkage, then this is where we do it. So we're going to go ahead and say OK and then finish. So now what I'm going to do on my new part is I'm going to create a cutout. So on this, uh, the ZY axis, I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch on that axis. And it's not going to be anything too complicated, just kind of a cutout that's going to go through the back of the shaft. So there's my new cutout. Okay, so this is our part copy, which is our finished product where we added these last couple machining features. So that cutout that I created would technically be like a machine feature out of my casting part, and the original shaft would be the casted part. So if we go back to our shaft underscore FOP part, and I just want to make a quick edit. I want to edit this, uh, this diameter real quick. I'm going to make this a little bigger. I think it's like four inches and say OK. All right. So then if I go back into my linked part copy, what I'm going to get is this update model links. So from here, we can say that we want to update this now or prompt me again next time or don't update me, but prompt me next time or update now and automatically in the future. Or you can say don't update and don't prompt me again. Don't update this manually. So I'm going to already just say like update now and prompt me again next time. And it's going to automatically create that change from that linked part. So again, this is really good with casting. And uh, this technique can be used for a lot of other different features in Solid Edge and different part files. So until next time, thanks.